Hey guys, Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I get to do it again. I'm gonna pick on Verizon like I always do. And I'm sure you've seen the commercials, right? Home internet. 5G, it could be in your home, right? I've talked about this before in the past, want to continue to talk about this narrative. If you haven't seen the commercial, I'll put the link to it in the, in the description below, but it is, it's very cheeky. It tells you, hey, we offer 5G wireless internet in your home. Basically what happens is Verizon has you pay for a device that's in your home that receives the 5G ultra wideband signal. And then from that, they, broadcast a wireless network in your home. That's how this will work going forward. Um, these devices are readily available for, for people that are eligible to get them. Now, here's the thing though. It's very limited in scope. I went and did some research. CNET has a really great article, which I'm gonna post in the description below that talks about it and some of the advantages. This is not a new thing. Verizon has Fios, which is fiber over, over uh, I, IP um, that they offer in the Northeast, as well as 4G home internet. So if you don't have the ability to get 5G, they're gonna try to offer you 4G in your home, which is not nearly as compelling as 5G in your home. When looking at it, it honestly isn't that competitive in, a, in this space, and I'm gonna actually tell you why. So when you look at the different plans, they want to advertise and they put all over their website. You can get this as low as $25 a month, but there are a lot of stipulations implied when it comes to that. And you're also not going to be delivered the same type of speeds you would get if you paid more money. Because I certainly wanted to have the ability to try this out. I actually went to the Verizon website. I filled out the form to see if 5G was available in my area. And to no one's surprise, it's not. It is a very limited scope, like I said in the, in, in, at the beginning here, and this article kind of explains it. It's in most major cities, but you have to have access to the ultra-wideband spectrum. They have to be able to have a strong enough signal to deliver you the speeds that they're promising. And ultimately, since there are no caps on the information, they have to be able to deliver those kind of speeds over over time for you as a customer, for it to be something worth investing in. Well, if I were, you know, actually able to evaluate this more, I would I would look at this in comparison to what some of the cable providers are offer, offering at this time and what is being offered by cable providers and other telecommunications vendors are fiber gig speed internet. I'm sure you've seen the commercials about that as well. They offer gig plus speeds, um, upload and download. When it comes to what, what Verizon is offering, and this is where I talk about about the convergence and I I very much emphasize this in my in, on my channel there is a convergence of telecommunications providers out there people who provide cellular service like Verizon want to offer you this option they want to give you in-home internet and ISPs like Comcast and Cox Communications and the like, they want to offer you wireless. It's because of the converging technologies. It's the fact that most most customers today, they're going to have a cell phone plan that has internet as well as an at-home plan with internet, right? And they want to do streaming services on all of those things. So if we can converge all of these different markets into one market and we can all play nice, we can all make money, right? That's ultimately the game here. It's no misnomer. AT&T offers telephone service, wireless service, and if you've been paying attention to my channel, they also at one point offered streaming services, but they do that now through DirecTV versus AT&T TV. So this isn't a new thing. It's been around for a while. You need to pay attention to it and you need to understand. I would encourage you, right, to at least go to the website on Verizon's website and see if 5G is available in your area. See if that's something worth evaluating. Compare it against what you currently have because ultimately there are gonna be lots of options and those options can't afford you 
saving a lot of money on those things. So should you invest in Verizon 5G or some type of at-home wireless internet provider? I would say no. They don't offer the same level of service that your cable providers like Cox Communications or Comcast or even Xfinity, if you have Xfinity, Xfinity and Comcast are pretty much the same thing. They don't offer the same level of speeds and reliability that, that these things, that the wireless at home solutions provide. The download speeds can certainly be something that most people uh, can, can get behind. You know, they offer up to gig speeds over 5G because of the technology. That's, that's ultimately available to you, but you have to be pretty close to their technology. You have to be uh, within range of 5G towers and very little interference. You're going to be sharing your internet with wireless phone customers. And that's something you have to also consider when you get into the solution. The download speeds are something that you can, you can easily compare. But when it comes to upload, and that's something that is also not very apparent in these, these plans, you're talking, in the case of 4G, single speed uploads, five less than 10 meg, megs up on fiber plans that AT&T offers, for example, I have an AT&T plan, they offer gig down and gig speed ups for a very similar price that you would get for these wireless plans. And the only thing that the wireless plans are offering is, is that you'd be locked in for a certain period of time and you're married to their plans. Well, that's not something that you really want to do. You don't want to overinvest once again in technology that furthers their narrative for 5G. 5G is something that's emerging as a technology. It's certainly around in a lot of different areas, but when it comes to these higher speeds and when it comes to what Verizon is trying to offer people, you have to be on the ultra wideband network in order for this to work. And you're gonna be competing with cell phone, other cell phones in your area in order to get this reliability in order to replace what you already have in your home. So that's something you should definitely consider when you go into this is it worth doing it for yourself to save a few dollars I wouldn't I wouldn't do that myself even if I had it available to me and at this time it's just not that's what I have for today I appreciate your uh, time and attention wanted to give you these this insight because ultimately I don't want you to be confused the reason Verizon is pushing for these initiatives is to continue its its lead forward in 5G. It is not very mature yet. We are not at its peak of, hey, this is, this is a viable solution for a lot of people's problems. So please be aware of that. Don't, don't feed into the machine that Verizon is giving you or that AT&T or Sprint or any of these other communications providers that are out there pitching 5G and, and how great it is. It's going to be great. But right now it's just, it's just average. So with that, like I said, that's what I have. Please subscribe to this channel, let people know I'm here. I put in the comment section below what you really think of all this. Will you be looking to switch to a wireless provider for internet at your home? I'd love to hear your, uh, your opinions on that. I'd also love to hear your opinions on what I should do research on next. Telecommunications is something I find very fascinating. I studied it a lot in college and I continue to be uh, kind of the, the purveyor of this space. I want to follow certain things that are going on. I love technology and this, this ties to that. So if you have any other thoughts of things that I can bring to the table, right, when it comes to my expertise, please put that in the comment section below as well. Let your friends know, like this video, share it with everyone that you know, and visit my website, IamKenRoss.com. Until I see you next time, we'll see you around.